What's up guys, the Bobcat here and welcome back to EU4 Common Sense as Ming. Last time we began westernizing. And we are starting to make progress and I just noticed we have forts active in Korea. So let's make sure we get rid of those because they're expensive to keep and it'll save us what, 1.5 ducats? Something like that. 1.2, 1.3 ducats if I'm not mistaken. So that saves us some more money. We have 15 years until, uh, what are they? Adian? Where were you? You're over here somewhere. You're here. Okay. We can declare war on them if we wanted to. I don't know where we would. I mean, yeah, to claim them and colonize, but I don't feel there's a point. With Persia, why does Persia want access? Persia is at war with Sure, why not? Anything to destabilize the, the Indian re Indian region, if possible. I think Persia and Sindh are at war. Yeah, they are. Well, that'll help cut some of those people down a little bit, make them easier pickings. Noble family feud. Uh, I really don't want to deal with rebels. Whereabouts? Just there. Well, I'll just lose 33 diplo points. I don't care. I don't want to deal with rebels. They hurt a little bit, but it's not too bad. Apparently, the Empire has three Imperial authority. Good on them. Pity they're losing so much. Speaking of, how is the West looking? We haven't been back there in a while. And not much is happening over here, so let's go and have a look. The Ottomans are growing, to say the least. Lose 100 million points. They're, they're growing all the way down here. They are big and scary. Usually they de get destroyed by now, don't they? Have rebel problems? Well, Aragon is the new France, apparently. Uh, they are eating the West. Uh, Austria is stretched all the way along. Trier is pretty big. Great Britain, it France. Yeah, Aragon. It's Aragon that's mostly surprising. Also, France getting eaten. But the fact they got a PU with, they got the leading PU with Castile, as well as Portugal. That's crazy. And you're nearly finished integrating. You'll be finished in five years. No, six years. So, that's pretty interesting to see. Even though the chance of, well, the chance of inheriting integration, so never mind. The chance of them inheriting Castile is minus 27. The chance that, but they're integrating them, so. I think their integration has taken about as long as, uh, it has, it, well, it will take for us to westernize. It's about, it's just slightly less points, 500 less points, but they're only gaining five a month rather than the 15 we are. So, we'll make that into a co-op. Um, sure, I'll turn a place into a city. Where is that? Tondo. Isn't that the one up in... No, it's down here. Well, it's got a colonist, so... That's good. We'll put a colonist here. Let's speed that up a bit. I rather... Ma oh, uh, Master Recruiter died. Well, that's a shame. Um, sure, gain a statesman. I'll take just discipline guy. Don't want to get anyone too expensive. Although I think that's the same cost as the last guy was. So no difference being made there. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Aragon will actually change over to being Spain or if they will just stay Aragon. I wonder. Well we'll have to wait and see. Aragon's got some pretty interesting abilities as well. Monthly autonomy change and uh, culture conversion, especially interesting. Lose 30 prestige, I'm not about to suffer losing progress on this. Yeah, 30 prestige hurts, but we gain like one or two back anyway from actually um, from finishing making uh, colonies, so that'll be fine. 
Looks like uh, they started colonizing there, but I don't see any troops. So as soon as they, uh, as soon as rebels rise up, they're not going to have them. They're not going to keep it. Uh, you can actually go join up there now, can't you? Do that. This costs 300 points. I'm going to do this now. We're up to 500. So I don't feel too bad about doing that. I don't feel like it was too great of a risk. Um, Karl II of Austria has been elected. Good for him. You have rebels. Yeah, independence for Malacca and all that nonsense. That's not going to happen. I'm interested in trying to colonise New Zealand and Australia, but it looks like Castile has beaten us to it, so that's not going to happen. Which is a shame. Who ever heard of a Castilian New Zealand and uh, Australia? Hilarious. It's a pity we can't see these islands. We can see that one. Eh, we'll eventually get there. we still got lots to colonise up here. Well, four provinces, five, six provinces up here. We may be able to grab some of these as well. Maybe we'll be able to grab um, these ones over here. I forget what they're called. Yeah, I'll give them a cantalism. What's it called now? Alaska. That was it. We may be able to grab Alaska. May be able to. Obviously, we'll have to see. What, does Ray IQ still exist? Yeah, Ray IQ is still going. Good for you. It's nice to see them still around. I wonder if the Knights still exist, for that matter. Let's go have a look. Yeah, the Knights are still going strong. I ignore their demands. Good on the Knights. They're on Tech 24 as well. Wow. Scary. Uh, let's get you done. We'll do that. Send you there. Keep going. What I wouldn't mind doing is constructing the Forbidden City. But to do that, we, the bureaucrats must be ruling. Or one of the following must be true. So we just need to have money. Okay then. Try and save up for a thousand. It's going to take a long time. Get up to what? Twelve hundred? Um doing math and it's not working, hang on. My 12 times tables are not my strongest. No, then. 12 times 12, 144. So we're getting 144 ducats a month. And we have 400, so it, how much does it cost to construct? 659 minus 452 divided by 144. So it should take us eight years to gather up enough ducats. That's if I like cut back on the uh, if I don't come back on the military spending. Which I could do and get us a tad more money. Might not be such a bad idea. We actually make a lot of money from production, don't we? Not so much from trade, but then again, I don't understand trade how how it works very well, so I've been neglecting it horribly. Apparently Malacca's got tons of money in their trade node. And we have basically nothing. Good. Five prestige, very nice. Turn that into a city, very nice again. That's expensive. We'll do it. Colonize the Maldives. Where are the Maldives? Over here. Sure, why not? Let's go wild. Uh, where's our other fleet of 20 ships? Fleets, 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 navies. There we are. Um, you all can head over to the Maldives then in that case. They'll get there eventually. Are both our ships moving out? They're not. You do have automatic transport. So it looks like they're going to transport three at a time. Well. It's not a big problem. Oh, got to take the mission. That'd be a smart idea. 
then we can finish off coring over here. Eventually, probably have to bring the bring them back. Now then, we're still going at speed four actually. We're nearly halfway there. Nearly. At least the year's going quickly, which is nice. So just sit back and relax. High command. Um, no, I'll lose the tradition. I don't care. I'm not losing points towards uh, westernization. I don't want it taking any longer than necessary. Yeah, we lost all our armor tradition and navy tradition, which sucks. But, uh, oh well. Armies in exile. Where? Well, I'm using exile. Why are you in exile? I don't get it. Also, you're suffering attrition, which is horrible. But as soon as this is done, here we go. Our army is not in exile, and you're not suffering attrition anymore. Go dock up. Improve our prestige. That's actually not a bad event to take. I'll take it. Give one stability. Free stability is nothing to sneeze at. We're actually gaining 100 uh, people a year. That's quite impressive. Kinda caught. How are you doing? Not as many, but still pretty quick. Lost six men to their 1,000. It's fine by me. Just gotta wait for that prestige to go up. We could get a prestige guy if we're lucky enough. But I do want to get all these converted, especially Beijing, which somehow went Buddhist at some point. I think it's because of an event I chose. Probably want to do that though. Just do that sooner rather than later. How long we left on this one? Well, we can look over here, can't we? Be done in 71. Ooh. Ooh. 50 diplo points? I'm going to take 2,000 ducats, honestly. That is hard to say no to. Now then, let's go put the bureaucrats in power. It's very expensive though, 50 admin points to do that. Can we still not do this? We have to have stability of 3. Oh god damn it. Got overexcited. That sucks. Oh, we'll put them back in charge. At least we have the money now, which is nice. We can also probably afford to do that and have full maintenance, although there's no need, so we'll have it like at quarter. Reactionaries, yay! In Z, you. Oh, really there? We don't have an army there, do we? Um, get walking quickly. Also, we'll turn a fort on. Turn two forts on, actually. Oh, our king died. Well, not a big deal, the air is identical. Getting reactionaries. However, our air sucks now. A 3 2 1? No, thank you. I would rather have him die in a battle. Because he sucks. And I don't want a terrible air. But then again, he could die and our king could die, and then we have another succession crisis. Although we don't have the bandit from heaven anymore, so I mean, what we're we gonna lose? Nothing. So that's fine, I suppose. He can't really move. Great statesman has died. That's a shame. We'll get a level two. Got plenty of statesmen. Now that I still really want to get this boosted up. In fact, we actually have unrest problems now, don't we? Wow. That happened quick. Well, let's put a different faction in charge. I'd rather not spend 10 points here, because it probably won't, it'll only save us 10 points. So we'll just go straight up. Well, our, leg our legitimacy should go up soon enough. Lack of prestige hurts, but uh, it's the way of things, unfortunately. Should have put a leader in charge. 
That would have been a smart idea. Oh well, we have plenty of discipline. So, that worked out. Also, conversion is taking place. Let's convert Beijing already. Don't want to wait on it. It's a heretic religion. Get rid of it. Independence for Yan. That's not going to happen. Well, we've only got 10 years left now, so hopefully we'll be finished with that soon. Um, sure, we'll have that last idea. So we're at 2.07. And now we're at 327. So yeah, we gained 100 in some places. We could have a big army if we wanted. Turns out quantity is actually really good to take. And we're halfway there. That's good to see. In where? Q-U-A-N Quanju. I'm down there. Looks like you're going to be on uh, running patrol. We'll put um, you in charge. Get down there. We'll also fully fund the army because why not? Uh, turn on that fort and let them rise up. They've got a four-two-two going after the fort. That's fine. The fort is going to take a very long time to siege. It's only a base level fort, but we have a plus fifty percent on the base regiments needed. I could probably do with upgrading all these forts, actually. We have money. I suppose we can do it. Although we do need three stability. Yeah, we need three stability before we can do that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Should we get some star forts? Or some bastions? Well, I'd like to get a star fort here. Well, we can't because the missionary is working. Well, at least like to get some bast the bastions finished. Fish is produced, very nice. Well, we'll do it in all the places that we already have forts, for obvious reasons. Don't want to drop too low on money either, so we do have to be careful of that. Uh, any more? Yeah, the one there. One there, look for the dark splotches. One there. There's no reason for me to do this, I just want to. There as well. There we go. About the one which is under siege from rebels. It's not too bad. And they're dead. We can upgrade that to a bastion. Got only a hundred ducats now, but it's not a big deal. can afford to drop the military back down just a smidge. Do want to make money, after all. And what would be really good, actually, is as soon as this is finished, we're going to gain so much income, it's going to be unreal. Because every one of our provinces is only giving us 50% of what they can give us. So as soon as... Well, hopefully, as soon as we finish um, westernizing, that will change. Although, after reading that, I might be mistaken because what I just read was that um, we're only gaining 50% because we're an empire. But I think, oh god, I don't like either of these ones. I'll lose the too expensive one. But yeah, we'll lose a celestial empire, won't we? So we should, should being the key word, gain all these provinces that are 50% straight down to 0% and that will boost our economy tremendously along with our manpower and force limit as well I'm not too torn up about that um, grant autonomy sure I don't care our autonomy change isn't that big either in fact it literally makes no difference because we're at peace so and that just also lowers our unrest, so that's even nicer. Well, still gotta wait. We're only, what, eight years away now. So, 
It's going to be a long couple of parts in these next few. Such is the way of things, though. Let's have a look over here. Poland's big. Lithuania is big. Well, not as big as it was, but still big. Russia is stretched out a different way. Perm broke off, and I think Kazan might have as well. So Russia's been split in two. And he kind of became self sustaining. Wonderful. Make it into a court. Kai's there. What else has happened? Uh, Scandinavia exists. Sweden exists. Livonian Order ate a piece of Sweden, I guess. Or Norway. I think that's Norway, isn't it? Well, regardless, they don't have a core in it anymore, so they must have owned it for a long time. Speaking of, is, Livonia, is that the only place Livonian Order have left? It is. So the Livonian Order have moved from here, near Riga, all the way up to Lapland in the middle of Norway slash Sweden. Good for them. At least they're surviving. Doing better than some people have. The Ottomans are just out of control at this point. Looks like they had a war with Russia though, so good for them I suppose. Aragon is still scary. Great Britain is uh, pretty scary as well. Have a base in India, the Bombay Islands. Lose 30 prestige, sure. Ouch, that hurts a lot, but I'm not losing westernization points. The bomb, not the bam, the bomb. Islands. Apparently they still exist. Unless it's the Gulf no, it's not it can't be the Gulf of Bomber, can it? That's the wrong place, but whatever. Hey, we colonized the Maldives. Nice. Well we could put you on the fleet and we can go colonize somewhere else. We could colonize a piece or oh, we can't actually because it's already been colonized, damn it. Can we reach the Gold Coast? Oh the uh, is it Gold Coast? It's not. It's the Grain Coast, the Ivory Coast, the Gulf of somewhere else. I thought the Gold Coast was around here. Well, anyway, not a big deal. Let's get that f army back over to here. Oh, it looks like our vassal beat us to it, but it's not a big deal. Our vassal beating us to it is completely fine. It's going to us eventually anyway. Drop off the army there. We'll move it across. Gain core. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not bothered about our air dying now because we don't have the mandate from heaven, do we? So it would make no difference. We don't even, the mandate from heaven just doesn't exist anymore. Which is completely fine. It was nice to have, but it also caused problems. 5th of May, they've arrived. We are, we're not gaining a lot of prestige, but it's just the way of things. Eventually, we'll have to go back up. In fact, we may get a huge bunch, to, bunch of prestige from actually westernizing. I don't know what you get at the end of westernization, bar becoming western. I don't know if you get like a big boost or something. Look at that name though. We are the we have the biggest of name. Ooh, um, reject demand. I don't care, it's just autonomy and it goes down quickly enough. Yeah, we have the biggest name. Ming. It's a pity you can't make China. I'm pretty sure when the game first came out you could actually make China. But it's just stuck as Ming for now. Which is a shame. I would like to change the name to China. And maybe change ideas as well. Although I don't think the idea change would happen. Still, it's an interesting idea. Now then, we could boost this up, but I'm not going to. Our fur is now produced. Could also attack someone, technically. But I don't want to go to war while westernizing. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. I was just asking for problems. So I guess we're just stuck with not doing much. 
Hey, the loot only losing point one a month now. Looks like they're starting to get stuff together. Also, the Catholicism one. Um, sure. I haven't actually looked at these Imperial reforms yet. I haven't looked at them in a while anyway. So, Emperor gets cheaper build cost and development, so does all the, uh, all the princes. Um, Emperor gets plus one diplomat and diplomatic reputation. Members get minus two unrest. Quite nice. Reform the Hof Gerecht. Said that horribly wrong. The just a and core creation. Gain 20 flat income. Wow. That one sounds really strong. Prestige and technology cost goes down. And gain 25% imp imperial authority. Gain another 25% imperial authority. And the last one, all of them are united under the Emperor. And our military leader died, and Sind has internal conflict. And a conversion was successful. Suppose we can try for another leader. Eh, a 3 1 1 1 is not too bad. It's not brilliant, but it's got siege and some maneuver, so it's better than nothing. Lose 100 diplo points. What time are we on? 26. Spice is now produced. Who knows, we may be able to finish in the next part. Which would be ideal. Can get back to going to war. Eat Bengal. Ooh, colonial con yeah, colonial company goes bankrupt. I'll lose fifty ducats, sure. Yeah, we'll take out a loan for no reason. Why are we losing twenty three all of a sudden? I'm sorry, what? Why? Why did that just jump up so much? That makes no sense. What? The Fort maintenance is still the same. We only gained 6 interest, it shouldn't jump up to 23. What? I don't get what's going on. Why is that why is that so expensive all of a sudden? I don't understand and it's scaring me. What? Then there's no way we can pay that loan back because we're losing tons of money. That's weird. Why did that happen? Did we lose money? I'm confused. And that's really scaring me because I don't want to lose 20 ducats a month for no reason. I think we lost money based over here somehow. I think the smugglers may have kicked in. Um, I don't like either one of these but I'll lose stability. Then we'll boost it back up. I still value legitimacy. So I'm not about to lose it all. My own marriage ended. That's not good. Another lot for it, I think. Yep, I have that back. Got one minute left. I'm still confused as to why we're losing 23 ducats a month all of a sudden. It must be that the autonomy change and stuff just kicked in. Oh, reactionaries. Everyone loves reactionaries. In none. I don't know. Something. Oh, and it's of course at the other end of the nation. Get walking. Turn that fort on. Activate the reactionaries. Our people will walk up there and kill them, eventually. Well, that's weird, but whatever. It's going to be very expensive to pay back. I hate that sometimes. We only have minus five in debt and we make 15 a month and then all of a sudden we lose 45 ducats a month which makes no sense because I didn't see where we lost that much that confused me greatly 
We should have only lost, gone down to like nine. So strange. Well, nothing for it, just to deal with it. It's not fault maintenance. Our faults didn't turn on, so it's not that. In fact, I can turn some of these off. Save a couple of ducats. Yeah, rest, no big deal. Hmm. Still. Well, nothing for it, just to wait. Oh, we've hit 30 minutes, so I have to end this part here. Hopefully, you all have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, subscribe to more. Feel free to leave a comment as well. And I will see you all next time.